Hey folks, I'm Tina Hui with Follow the Coin. We are the homepage of Digital Currency. Welcome to this episode of Bit News. We have some major updates from Apple, Braintree and PayPal, and Gem, the first ever TechCrunch disrupt Bitcoin startup. So let's dig in. Apple launched Apple Pay today at their long-awaited keynote event in Cupertino, California. Okay, well, maybe our speculations that Apple might be launching their own digital currency was a little off base, but it seems they have definitely gone ahead to open up their own wallet. But it seems they have definitely gone ahead to launch not the iWallet, but the NFC-powered digital wallet for iPhone 6 Apple Pay. So what is Apple Pay? Apple is describing Apple Pay as a service which the company calls an entirely new payment process. It will use their patented near-field communication technology embedded on top of Apple's new iPhone 6 and iPhone 6 Plus. Apple has also partnered with major banks for this service, including Bank of America, Capital One, Chase, Citibank, and Wells Fargo. Now let's talk about some major numbers. According to Apple's Vice President of Internet Software and Services, Eddie Q, the deals mean Apple is accounting for 83% of U.S. credit card purchase volumes. Plus, 22,000 retailers will work with Apple Pay, including Macy's, Bloomingdale's, Walgreens, Whole Foods, Dwayne Reed, Subway, Staples, Toy us and McDonald's. All of them are going to be supporting the payment system so point of sales terminals that work with Apple Pay can accept purchases from Apple customers right away. And that's just the short list. VentureBeat has reported that Apple Pay is only available in the US for the upcoming iPhone 6 and 6 Plus and integrates with Apple's Passbook app, which originally launched with iOS 7. You know that app that stores your concert ticket so you can show it to the doorman? That's the one. Apple Pay will also work with the newly launched Apple Watch, which just launched today as well. Speaking on stage at its keynote event, Apple chief Tim Cook criticized credit cards as a technology that he feels is five decades old. It seems that he and everyone at Apple are pretty excited about this new launch, which already has a partnership with American Express and Visa, as well as MasterCard. So while Apple didn't come up with its own digital currency or altcoin just yet, as we speculated in the past, nor did they accept Bitcoin, they are entering the digital money game. And it's been clear for some time that Apple would eventually invest in mobile payments. Back in April, Apple revealed that its users registered 800 million iTunes accounts, many of which have credit cards attached. Adding to that activity, everyone also knows that people avidly buy iTunes cards with iTunes credits. And do you know what the iTunes revenue was during the first quarter of this year alone? $5.2 billion in iTunes purchases. Wowza! Incredible! Apple's new payment service is expected to challenge rival mobile payments projects such as SoftCard, formerly ISIS, which is backed by Verizon Wireless, AT&T Mobility, and T-Mobile US, and the Google Wallet, both of which have yet to be proven and widely adopted by consumers. So some interesting things in the realm of Bitcoin. Banking technology site Bank Innovation reported hours ahead of the event that Square and PayPal that's right, PayPal, partnered with Apple on its upcoming payment service. Square has its own wallet app, but pulled back in May. Uh, let's make a note to revisit that PayPal partnership again in relation to Bitcoin and digital currency with the next update. In the meantime, fret not, Apple does support several Bitcoin apps, including BitWallet, Blockchain, CoinPocket, and is accepting Bitcoin apps into their iOS. On to the next update and why PayPal is an interesting mention in that Apple partnership. Yesterday, it became a possibility that we could all pay Uber, Airbnb, and possibly any merchant through PayPal in Bitcoin someday, and soon if things progress in the right direction. eBay's PayPal unit service Braintree announced quite a few developments yesterday, including OneTouch, and the fact that they are now accepting Bitcoin. This opens up, this open, this announcement is huge, folks. This opens up the world's second biggest internet payment network to virtual currency transactions. Braintree, a division of PayPal, is an online and mobile payments platform that powers simple, powerful payments, enabling companies to accept credit cards, debit cards, and PayPal 
and is now Bitcoin enabled. This is huge. Nearly a year ago, PayPal acquired Braintree in an all cash $800 million deal. And just yesterday, the online and mobile payments platform unveiled One Touch Payments and that it is making Bitcoin an option to all of its partners. Bill Reddy, who led the company through its sales, says that mobile conversion rates are lagging behind desktop transactions, something everyone in the technology industry knows. And it's no secret that a large reason for this is that it's just really tedious to enter or re-enter credit card information or to go through all of that process on mobile devices. The mobile payment process as it exists today is just plain clunky on both the consumer and partner side. Reddy says that more than half of e-commerce shopping experiences happens on mobile devices, but only 10 to 15% of purchases occur on smartphones. The reason for that gap is that there's a two-thirds to 75% fall-off in conversion, according to Reddy. People just, people just bail out. In an effort to ease that pain point, Braintree unveiled one touch, so people can pay across different apps with a single touch, eliminating the need for usernames and passwords. Early launch partners include Jane.com, ParkWiz, StubHub, and Type Tees by Threadless. With OneTouch, you only need to log in once on your device and instantly pay in mobile apps. Their open ecosystem means you're not locked into somebody else's rules. OneTouch is included in Braintree's V0 SDK, an open platform that offers a variety of payment methods, including widely used consumer wallets like PayPal, Venmo is integratable with major debit and credit cards and whatever new payment methods may emerge in the future, as well as being platform agnostic, meaning you can use it on Apple or Android. Braintree also offers partners comprehensive protection against fraud and is branding itself as the fastest way to pay on mobile. No more typing in credit card numbers, re-entering usernames and passwords in every app. Customers simply click buy and they're done. On top of that, they're partnering with Y Combinator and Andreessen Horowitz-backed Coinbase to enable Bitcoin payments. Yep. Let's dig in on some of those details. As of now, it's been reported that Reddy himself told TechCrunch as well as other publications yesterday that this is PayPal making a move to embrace Bitcoin, making sure to point out that Braintree is the go-to developer platform for PayPal. Holy smokes! Imagine if PayPal accepted Bitcoin! That would be so awesome! And it's being rumored that PayPal could be adopting Bitcoin really soon. Oh, we're definitely hoping that rumor is true. Developers who have integrated Braintree's software development kit will also be able to add Bitcoin to their payment methods now. It's a win for the San Francisco-based Bitcoin wallet and merchants payments processing platform, which recently secured deals with Wikipedia and Overstock. Now let's go dive into what this potentially means for Bitcoin. Braintree supports very large partners like Uber, Airbnb, and Dropbox. Reddy says it's still growing at 25% quarter over quarter, even after handling $14 billion in volume, around the time that eBay acquired it. Braintree's partnering with Bitcoin payment processor Coinbase lets users pay for things in Bitcoin from a Coinbase wallet. The implications are huge for Bitcoin. Coinbase's CEO, Brian Armstrong, says they had a lot of developers tell them that they'd love to add Bitcoin. Braintree will handle all of their payments and they didn't want to add another SDK or software development kit. And if Braintree added it, they would add it. And the rest, as they say, is history. If Braintree supported merchants would like to choose to enable Bitcoin payments, they'll need a Coinbase wallet, but the integration will support instant exchanges, meaning that the merchant doesn't have to handle Bitcoin directly and can get an immediate conversion rate between a fiat currency and Bitcoin through Coinbase. The integration and the process as well as the actual UX UI is supposedly extremely seamless. In a blog post, CEO Bill Reddy said that in the coming months, Braintree's customers would be able to add Bitcoin to their existing payment methods and provide an elegant, adaptive user interface for consumers to pay in Bitcoin with their Coinbase wallet. While it's unclear which, if any, merchants of record yet to have decided to incorporate Bitcoin into their accepted payments methods with Braintree, this recent development does show that PayPal is thinking about bringing alternative forms of payment into its fold. As Bill Reddy announced at TechCrunch Disrupt in San Francisco yesterday, today we're announcing PayPal's first foray into Bitcoin. Over the coming months, 
will allow our merchants to accept Bitcoin. That's pretty much a strong indicator, if not a confirmation, folks. In either case, eBay will be stepping into the lead as the most significant business to date that's embraced Bitcoin. The move could potentially enable PayPal's 152 million registered accounts to transact using the virtual currency. According to Gil Luria, an analyst at Wedbush Securities Inc., Pay PayPal integrating Bitcoin into Braintree is a very substantial development. Not only will it make it possible for some of the fastest growing apps to integrate Bitcoin seamlessly, but it opens the door for PayPal to integrate Bitcoin into its main wallet functionality. And if that happens, Millions of retails will de facto be accepting Bitcoin overnight. So here's to hoping things develop and progress quickly for PayPal and Braintree with its partnership with Coinbase. We at Follow the Coin will definitely be keeping a close eye and reporting it back to you. And yet another great story from TechCrunch Disrupt. Avoid getting goxed. We report on the first ever Bitcoin company at TechCrunch Disrupt demoed yesterday and aims to help solve crypto's security issues. At TechCrunch Disrupt's startup battlefield, the first ever Bitcoin-oriented startup to ever compete called GEM, formerly known as BitVault, a Bitcoin platform for developers has launched a new full-stack API for digital currency developers that eliminates pain of building Bitcoin security infrastructure into their apps. In the wake of recent security challenges in the industry resulting in the loss or theft of over half a billion dollars worth of Bitcoin, not to mention other notorious 4chan related cloud snafus, such as that celebrity photo leak of Jennifer Lawrence and hundreds of others, Gem is introducing what they call the only digital currency infrastructure to protect Bitcoin balances that doesn't require developers to be experts in security or cryptography. Gem's solution, which can be deployed by developers in minutes, utilizes a three key multi-signature system and several other integrated bank grade security features to ensure Bitcoin wallets and funds are always secure and accessible. The combination of multi-sig technology with best-in-class authentication and monitoring systems in one comprehensive platform makes, makes the GEM solution a first for the digital currency world. With under 10 lines of code, GEM's complete solution gives developers the freedom to focus on delivering Bitcoin applications with built-in bank-level security. Selected as one of 30 companies competing for a chance to win $50,000 and the coveted Disrupt Cup, GEM's full-stack API now provides the developers with a complete solution that eliminates the pain of building Bitcoin security infrastructure into their apps. Founded by Bitcoin thought leader, open source contributor, and community organizer Micah Winklespect, GEM offers a simple yet powerful platform for securing Bitcoin and other digital currencies. The importance of protecting Bitcoin balances and transactions is mandatory and necessary. GEM believes in delivering both a great user experience and assurance of security to the mainstream consumer. In Winklespect's own words, right now, if you want to build an app that uses Bitcoin, you not only have to build an amazing product, but you also have to be an expert in cryptography, security, and the underlying Bitcoin protocols. With GEM, developers can build their entire stack on their platform with less than 10 lines of code so they can focus on building product, not infrastructure. They built their platform for developers who shared their mission of empowering individuals to take control of their own assets. And they believe firmly that people shouldn't have to sacrifice convenience for security. All right, that's it for this update, folks. And there's lots of progress to keep an eye on. Hope you have a great day. Bye, guys. Thanks.